Hello there, wavers of the world. This is RH, and I bring you rigging training for Lightwave 3D. RH rigging is the most complete and comprehensive set of rigging training available for Lightwave 3D. It covers the tools, methods, and workflows available to us for setting up dynamic and easy to operate structures for characters and other kinds of general rigging. Let's cut to the goods and see some of what we've got going on in here. We've got, you know, your standard sort of base setup for things like simple bipeds such as this fellow. Nothing too spectacular, just simple, basic, everyday, quick an easy biped rig. Since of course we're doing general rigging there are quadrupeds too and there's this wonderful little fellow here. He has this bi-directional spine system that works in this fashion giving him great flexibility from either end independently of the other. A broken hierarchy style rig with a quick flex spine, IK limbs. He's fast and flexible and wonderful to animate and pose with in every way going. We won't just be looking at creatures, of course, because we'll have stuff like this digger here as well, by the way of example, to show some mechanical action, of course, going on, which is very common rigging need by a great many everyday users. But we'll still see it from the point of view of animators rig design, helping to get quick, efficient and easy posing over a structure or a rig such as this. There's other types of mechanic on show as well, just like this little fella. This guy can work quickly and easily, his whole system working off a few simple controls. Only four controls in this whole rig allow you to pose his system in IK, flex within its own space. You can roll and turn him round his axis, give him foot action, even some roll, which is a lovely little trick and animates beautifully right through the whole chain. And of course, not forgetting to pose his head like I've never seen done before. Ever. This training series will show you how to accomplish rigs of this nature, initially by taking you through Lightwave's rigging toolset. The IK, the weights, the bones, the joints, constraints and expressions and all of that, rather than just by descriptions, we'll go into showing you how they work, how to operate with them, exactly what all of the switches, buttons and so on do, and showing in places where things interconnect with one another, giving you a really holistic view of the tool set, which will be needed to build the kind of rigs that we're working with sometimes. Although we'll look at the specifics of settings and values, the tool section is more than just a repeat of the manual, as it starts to show you ideas of technique and workflow and how to predict what you need to build as you build things that you have not done so before. A good example of this is the IK solver. A lot of tutorials for IK, of course, may show you a few examples here of, you know, a limb or a lamp or similar, and the buttons you push to set the IK up. RH rigging, of course, has that, but more. It teaches you the IK solver that Lightwave has and shows you ways that when confronted with different types of structure, you're able to adapt the understanding of how it works to know how you need to build this unfamiliar thing. This kind of approach is a common theme throughout most of the training, of course. One of those tools, of course, that we'll take a greater view on is Genoma. The how-to of Genoma has a couple of parts. There's the basic setup modeler interface of Genoma, which is covered plenty in new tech zone tutorials. But once you know how to put it together, and sometimes even if you don't, there's a different way of using Genoma, and that is as a rigging tool in Lightwave. This is how we will focus on its use. Since it produces all Lightwave native rigs, we will see it in the full context of the other tools. And it's this insight that makes you realize the potential power that Genoma can have. When you don't rely on it to be an auto-rigger, but instead use it as a rigger's tool, you can get a great amount of functionality very quickly. We'll also see how if you find the interaction in Modeler with Genoma a bit fiddly sometimes, that it is still quite possible, and in fact very easy once you've just got a few basic concepts of rigging, to be able to snap parts together quickly in a way that works for a given character. And we'll see all of that understanding of Genoma in context of actually building stuff, like this little giraffe fellow here, who's quick, easy to set up, gives great, easy, intuitive control, and again, can be a pleasure for an animator to use in many ways. And that, unsurprisingly, is the thing here, animation. It's the whole reason we rig in the first place. Because of this, there'll be a heavy focus throughout the training on creating systems and rigs that serve the purpose of animation, that help the animator to do their job either better or faster. Through the creation of setups that are light and easy and intuitive to get on with, and also which provide natural motion simply from the mechanics of the way they work. And we'll see that for various main systems in characters like legs that respond naturally in action, such as walking and running and jumping. 
hip and spine systems that roll around, giving us quick access to secondary motion, right down to the smallest details of finger and hand setups for IK and everything else. And we'll expand this into various other little topics such as how to work with props, to again create nice, intuitive, and efficient setups for operating our characters and animations, whilst always being able to easily create believable natural motion. And of course we'll take a look at that which we haven't even mentioned so far, the business of deformations. Whether that be working on simpler characters, or more cartoony characters, or even realistic ones, we'll see how we can use Lightwave's tools quickly and easily to achieve deformations and shaping in our characters that are both attractive, easy to art direct, and give an even greater sense of believability and realism. Whether all we're looking is for something that deforms nicely and cleanly, or whether we want to get in there with the more detailed stuff on tricky areas, like arms and shoulders to create the truly shapely systems that so many people crave. With bulging and folding and everything else. And there you have it, RH rigging training for Lightwave 3D. Whether you're completely new to rigging or whether you already have some more experience, I guarantee that you will find many tricks, secrets and workflows in here to help improve your rigs, whether that be for characters or mechanical objects or pretty much anything else. You will not find a more thorough or complete set of instruction for these workflows and tools anywhere else. This is RH. See you all again.